We are live now. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everyone that are watching. Oops, I'm positioning myself. I am here. My name is Ushul Ursal Kalveli. I call myself a life work coach because all I'm interested in is to create the work that is aligned with who we are and so that the workplace becomes a place and work becomes the thing where we can expand who we are and contribute to ourselves, the world around us and expand the life inside of us. And I'm excited to be with Marie-Louise today. Marie-Louise, yeah. we met in a wonderful program mm -hmm. uh, from, from Coachville actually, yeah. where we worked in our dreams together. And one of our ideas was we wanted to do something creative. So I wanted yeah. to do something creative. You wanted to do something creative. Yeah. And we said, shall we collaborate? So this live idea came exactly. and you have a wonderful story. I think but I'm very curious about your story. Something connects us. We are both coaches, but at the same time, yeah. we are interested in work, creating fulfilling work. And I heard from you, you have a story, a happy story that started with a bit of unfulfillment mm -hmm. turned into fulfillment so yeah. first let's start with you introducing yourself you define how you define yourself what is your work and then tell us a bit about this journey that you had from unfulfillment mm -hmm. to fulfillment yeah thank you Isil to I mean for the invitation yes we had the connection on on you know this uh program and uh to to be true to you i i wanted to create something out of my comfort zone so here here we go um and uh, yes so what type of coach am i it's like really my work uh, is very simple is really connecting the head and the heart i would mm -hmm. say to be very um succinct so it's about really uh, helping the client or the player i love that uh, that name the player to become true to himself, to know himself, to know his values, his strengths, his aspirations, and start to realign himself to live the best of his life, to to have to you know own this fulfillment in his life or her life. And uh, of course, my uh, story helped me to become who I am and. Uh, you know, to have now those people who are out of alignment. So obviously I was out of alignment myself about, you know, like even 10 years ago. I started my journey of coaching eight years ago, but already, like I would say, already like 13 years ago, I was already out of alignment and I was, let's say, bored out. Mm -hmm. I was really searching for myself. I didn't like my job anymore. It was uh, financially good, but um, yeah, my soul wasn't, you know, having excitement anymore. I wasn't having excitement in that job. So, you know, it's so hard to take a leap towards who we really want to be. And I had no idea at that moment. I only knew that I was burned out, burned out overwhelmed. I was having difficulties with relationships. Some of them were good. Some of them were not good at all, not fulfilling. And in the overall, my life wasn't fulfilling at all. So, yeah. So I started that journey. And I could say that burned out helped me to rediscover myself. Mm. I'm curious about this term burnout because I don't know if, I know how it feels like. Um, I this term is new, not new anymore, but it's very popular right now. I think a lot of people are experiencing this. Mm. I don't define my experience back then, um, burnout, but probably I also don't know what it feels yeah, yeah. like. How did it feel? How do you know that it was burnout for you? So for me, for me, it's like suddenly one day. I couldn't move anymore. It was really, I put so much pressure on myself. Uh, I have to do this. I have to be successful. I have to climb the ladder. I have to, I have to. I, ha I put so much pressure on myself that I burned. Mm -hmm. So one day I couldn't move anymore. I was laying on my bed and I don't know. It's something happened. My body couldn't move. And was it 
Was it at the end of these five years? You said it was uh, already kind of 13 years ago. Yeah, I, I, I actually to tell you, uh, to give you some uh, details, I, I was like, I started having this boredom and stuff around 40, 42, and at 45, 44, it hit me, right? Mm. And I, I suddenly couldn't move anymore. I, I was having a, a very hard relationship and tough relationship with my... Uh, direct report and we weren't agreeing on the strategy and uh, yeah we were having conflicts and uh, um, so mentally mentally exhausted uh, physically exhausted back pain uh, difficulties to to um, to wake up to sleep sleeping problems I was taking stuff all the time to uh, painkillers and really I was out of alignment, but until that time that my body told me, that's it. You cannot move anymore. How did you take the journey from there on? Oh, uh, so I wasn't prepared, of course, um, and I didn't understand what was going on. I never heard about at that time about burnout. And so I slowly by slowly, actually, you know, I, I went first to the doctor. I, I explained my problems and, and uh, my daughter told me, you are completely burned out. And uh, she, you know, I had uh, to stop working. So for three months, I was in my bed lying and lying and doing nothing. Not able. I mean, everything was so painful, so difficult so heavy to do even the chores you know the chores the chores at, at home i was having my kids of course my husband i couldn't i barely could you know cook even you know i couldn't terrible so that was for i mean it, it lasted for three months and slowly by slowly i you know um actually what happened is like well during those three months i had to stay within myself and to stay still and to be, to be with whatever, you know, whatever was happening to myself in my body. I was, it was pain, yeah, painful. And I was having pains, but couldn't move. So I just had to stay in my being, right? When did the shift happen for you where you recognize something new is being born? So, after those three months, four months, I would say, um, suddenly I had some taste to go out to explore nature. I had this, I don't know how I can say that, this uh, energy, a little bit, not energy, but this uh, will to go out, this will to go into nature and to give myself permission to hear the birds and to to be in nature just to to contemplate something very simple right uh, i think i wasn't ready yet to have relationships and to again you know start to immerse myself into uh you know being with friends and stuff i wasn't ready i mentally i was a little like you know uh, not ready for that but I was ready to have a peaceful, mindful. I started mindfulness actually, right, in nature. So, and and slowly by slowly, I had the will to to eat one, you know, specific food, or to uh, go to the cinema, or to see the movies. And slowly by slowly, I started, you know, being alive again. Yeah. Weird journey, wow. right? Wow. To, to me, it, I was talking with the two colleagues today and we were discussing um, how our lives are changing. And um, most of us have recognized that we had been acting through, you know, from a place of responding mm -hmm. uh, or reacting, like, I don't want this or I will fight against this rather than this call inside of ourselves that genuinely the authentically desiring or wanting something and to me it feels like you find yourself this stillness or your body called you out 
walk you up into this um, misalignment that you were experiencing yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. probably you you practiced a lot of patience I believe when you were so much on a roll and then when you find yourself in a place of silence yeah. that should be also challenging to stay with you learn uh, resilient you learn to be resilient and then patient yeah. because I'm not I'm I, I, at the very beginning I mean truly I'm not patient I'm not someone who's patient <laughs> Like I can imagine. I think, yeah, patience is something that we develop, I believe, oh, yeah, yeah. As, as we practice. And through that patience, you allow the, something real emerge inside of you. And that bit by bit, you, you yeah. thought beautifully, you started going out, doing things. Yeah. When did the meeting with coaching start? How did you, you know, start, start to, to yeah. this new journey? Uh, yeah. Thank you for the question. Uh, actually, we, uh, we, the, the, the company I was working for was going through redundancy. They were offering redundancy. So I said to myself, okay, this is the, the best that could happen to me. Uh, I want to start something new, uh, something that it feels real to me, something authentic to, to you know, aligned with me. And a friend of mine, I was going to the gym and I started, you know, going to the gym again and stuff. He told me, you know, I know this coach. And maybe she could help you. So I said, a coach, you know, it was eight, nine years ago, nine, 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 nine and a half, nine years ago. And I said, a coach, all right, yeah, why not? We can have a chat. So I, I you know, I called her and she said, you, you know, let's have a chat and stuff. I went there and actually she asked me, but, you know, what do you really want? I was mm. like, oh. Well, I want to be happy in my life. All right. She said, you know what? I'm giving a workshop, uh, play your bigger game. And today's workshop with a, another coach, uh, you know, a friend. She was from Canada. She was coming to France. And she said, we're going to have to play our big, bigger game within two weeks, two days. I said, OK, let's go for the workshop. So, but it was, uh, you know, real, like we weren't doing it with, uh, through webcam or stuff, but it was uh, physical. And, oh my God, after the first day of, you know, group coaching, we were a group, right? Uh, 12 people. I said to myself, I started crying. It was so moving, you know, the questions and, uh, and uh, the exercises we, we, we did to, and, uh, to reconnect to our true self, right? And I said, no way. I mean, I need to do that. I need to move forward with that coaching thing. And I want to become a coach, actually. You know, it resonated so much. I'm, I still have goosebumps when I talk about it. So mm. uh, that was the start of my coaching journey. And I, I started being coached. I started taking coaching, uh, the coaching curriculum to become a professional coach certification. And I went to a leadership program, which is um, um, the Coactive Leadership Program for 10 months. Uh, it was uh, an immersive experience where I learned a lot about myself, about my, my peers. Uh, so it was an amazing journey. Yeah. Mm. It's what resonated with me, what landed was you were exploring Mm -hmm. um, somebody told you something you were curious and then there was another invitation you allowed yourself gave yourself permission to play mm -hmm. and then out of this a new insight emerged for you and mm -hmm. you follow this through yeah I followed my my intuition that that was something that was aligned with me deeply like you know, having and then having this impact to help other people being of service that was very much resonating with me. I always wanted to help people, but you know, I did commerce, I did so many things, I was having you know great talks, but I I I wasn't helping, I was selling, I was you know contributing to the benefits of the company, the business and stuff, but I wasn't aligned at the end with that so um yeah i think you are now giving a bit of hints of what makes 
fulfillment for you at work and uh, one aspect you were touching right now was people and uh, I felt like authenticity it was you and being um, real with mm -hmm. other people not for selling but really contributing and yeah. serving serving to their growth serving awesome. them not to buy something it's okay i mean you help them choose buy know a few things i mean technical stuff whatever you're selling but here with coaching you are really getting to the core of of i mean the soul of someone uh, and developing them to self actualize them to be happier a happier version of themselves mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. fantastic i feel that it's the best gift Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and uh, this experience for you having transitioned from burnout to mm. coaching mm. what have you learned regarding what makes work fulfilling mm. well i learned to follow my values to understand myself to understand my strengths to honor my strengths to honor my values to, to be true to myself, to listen to that little voice that could tell me, uh -uh, it's not the right thing for you. Um, also to know um, myself as, you know, what were my belief system not to become my best self? What, you know, those saboteur inner critics that are derailing us and preventing us from being our full self, right? So I learned all those things and, and, and I, it's really a practice. It's not a small journey. It's really something that we, I keep doing. I keep re realigning myself with my values and honoring my values all the time, setting my boundaries, uh, learning to say no, to honor more your, yourself, coming back to my, uh, you know, center. And so it is something that um, is fulfilling me because I love to learn. I love, to, I am very curious. And uh, I love to play. So yeah, I'm still learning, still learning. Yeah, so it's continuous growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I was uh, connecting with what with my experience and what I have written in the book. Um, mm -hmm. I feel this is like a continuous journey, as you were describing. And one of the metaphors that I was using for this unfulfillment experience was we don't know ourselves and our shape it feels like and then we when we it's as if we are walking and kind of going through a cave and then we are hitting here and there and our hands are tight and through this kind of hitting here and there we are understanding oh okay i have this kind of shape so with the yes. this experiences of upset and fulfillment we are understanding okay these are Kind of important to me yes. i didn't know about that. these are my yeah. values what new yeah. choice i can make with this yeah. Yeah. and yeah. it's like bit by bit not immediately something appears but through yes. a process of discovery taking new action and then again and it's yeah. never ending i think no no and something that was fulfilling to you like that that is fulfilling to you right now maybe is going to change the shape is going to change and it's going to it's going to take an, a different form uh, in, exactly. in the future also exactly right exactly. and so uh it's good to know that it it is a journey it's not a set thing like of course sometimes we have we do coaching and we have clients and for a set amount of time we are with them we guide them but it's really important to know that it's a continuous uh way of living life and uh it's it, it we just need to ask ourselves the right questions. What do I need? Mm -hmm. What is important for me right now? Uh, what excites me? What is uh, fulfilling to me? Letting go of what is not fulfilling. Having the courage to go for what is more rewarding to us. It, it is always like ch ch a matter of choice, like choosing. It's, mm -hmm. Life is choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. With with your kind of current self, um, when you look back into your past experience, before you burned out, what could you have done so that it didn't last so long for you? Well, I could have had the courage to ask for help. Mm. 
because um, I thought at that time that I had to make it myself. Mm. That's um, a very, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the oldest and I, you know, I always had to prove or to show that I knew or that I, yeah, because behind me, I, I had, I have a sister, so I had to, to be the best, to show her the way, to really. So I, I never had to ask um, for help. It was hard for me to ask for help. So I learned that during, during the whole process. Mm. Ask for help because, like for me, asking for help was was um, like I was a failure, right? I didn't know. Not knowing for me was like, oh my god, you don't know. <laughs> And now I'm jumping into the unknown. I'm giving myself the permission to not know. Why should I know everything, right? Mm -hmm. That's great not to know. And then you can play, try, test, tweak something. It's not working. So it, there's no more playfulness in, in my life now. Yeah. And I'm not beating myself up because I'm not knowing or I'm failing at something. And the, the you know, like the mindset shift is really, I'm not failing at this. I'm learning. We mm. never fail, actually. We mm. always learn. So it makes mm -hmm. life much easier, much lighter. Yeah. I think it's the, the you cannot change. What was the saying called? Uh, you cannot solve the problems. Uh, yeah. through the mindset the that mindset. created mm -hmm. created them yeah. Yeah. i think when we are stuck probably the same mindset is in operation so exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's exactly the point where we get a partner um to have a different view for us to be challenged on to maybe also mirror someone's el someone else's mindset and to look from outside to have a to bring ourselves to play is such a challenging thing. I, I think Absolutely. while you were talking, I was I was seeing your energy, and then I when you said, "Well, I'm playing with it. I'm it's okay for not knowing, making mistakes." So, what gives you the security? What something I, I want to ask you because usually people don't act because they want the security of knowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. And then safe. how hmm. how do we train ourselves to? take leaps towards the unknown. I, yeah, I failed so many, I, I didn't fail so much, but I, I failed one big, big, big thing for 10 years and that I, I didn't um, like achieve what I need, I wanted. And so I learned to let go. It's about letting go of the, of the pressure we put in, ourselves in, 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 in the, you have to, you, you need to, you, you should, the shoes, the have to, the, all those things, are, they in, uh, how do you call that, you know, judgmental thoughts, you know, mm -hmm. um, are nasty, nasty saboteurs, I would say, yeah. So it's about letting go of those thoughts and, and you know, acknowledging them first of course but letting go of them because they're not useful to become that playful self and really letting go is really something that i had to learn to to be playful and be willing to learn not fail so i'm, I'm you know tweaking language is very important when we do coaching we really uh, we are very cautious about what we say and what how we are articulating and we switch you know we change from one word to the other one and so failing is not nice i don't like it so i like the 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 learning yeah word playing big and learning from it yeah <laughs> absolutely that gives me energy when i say you know i'm learning and i'm very curious to learn more and to try and not judge myself if I mm, fail, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So from your story, what you shared, what stayed with me as lessons, if I could summarize, is what keeps us stuck is these expectations of ourselves, the okay. shoes, have to, so recognizing these, mm -hmm. asking for help, 
as early as possible so that we can get out of this mindset and create a fresh perspective for clarifying what is it that we need right now and what is important to us, what are our values, so that what next action we can take for going towards what is important to us. And also celebrating mistakes. Uh, Failure doesn't exist, but celebrating learning. Yes, absolutely. journey. That's a nice way to say to put it together. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. And and I would say also, you know, uh, when we are in those moments of of deep um, questioning, it's really to ask also ourselves one one one, one question, which which is key. Huh? This one, it, it it is this one is really very important for me. I mean, it's like. Am I worthy to be living my best life? That's mm. a key one. Everybody is worthy. We are all worthy to be living our best lives. We have one life, mm. right? So mm. from this question, well, everything is possible. And if you say yes to, you say yes to life, then you can ask for help. You can, um, you know, you can learn, you can fail, you can, you can do everything. And so I invite everybody to ask himself or herself this question. I just had a talk with someone, a discussion, discovery session with someone. And at the end, it was really that question. Do you feel you're worthy? of becoming this happy self, this fulfilled self. Do you feel worthy, right? Are you worthy for, for, and and ready to become this person, right? And we are all worthy, of course. What if the person answers no, (laughs) when they don't feel they are worthy? Maybe it's not the right moment for them to do coaching then. Mm. Maybe it needs a little more like, questioning like yeah or staying in this mindset that doesn't help and seeing after one year two years that they're still stuck they're still in the same place they're still you know unfulfilled unhappy and then maybe they might remember our conversation and say oh that's it i'm done i want to be you know i really want to become someone else i feel worthy i i am worthy I'm going to do the, the work because it takes time and it takes, you know, we need to work on ourselves to do, to, to become fulfilled. It's a lifelong journey, but um, at least mm-hmm. starting, starting is the, you know, the, the first, the first te- step is really to, to acknowledge our worthiness. That's the start. I the question that you ask um, am i worthy of living the best life i can have what was it can you repeat again am i worthy to 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 live my best life now uh, can i start to be living my best life life now yes i was exactly getting that like, what is the best life now for me and yeah. what yeah. can i do in this moment exactly. to experience this you can ask yourself yes. that question. I mean, everybody can ask uh, himself or herself that question. Very yes. simple. And you can take a step forward with that question. And what is your answer to it now? I was just curious. <laughs> for, for your next days, what is uh, your yes. next step for your best life? Well, I, I would love to have more impact. And of course, now for now, I'm doing one on ones like with coaching, but might uh, I would love to go beyond the one on one and have more impact on groups. So uh, that's my next step, I think. Scary one, though. Scary because I've, you know, I've done a few groups, you know, coaching groups, uh, pro- programs, but uh i'm thinking about the the theme and the topic and i would love uh to have some people joining me in that uh in that journey of of uh, realigning um people to themselves and do some group coaching because when you are a group with the same um goal 
Uh, it's so much fun, and you see that you're not alone. Uh, when I was in, I mean, I did, I, I, I wasn't that on that journey alone. And I feel mm -hmm. that sometimes it's so good to have partners in crime. I would say, with the same goal. So that's my next uh, uh, experience. Play. I can, I, I can see that happening. So people who would be interested in the group, being part of the group, they can follow you on LinkedIn. Of course. Uh, so of course. They will see your profile. What else would you like to add before we come to a closing? Ah, so again, yeah, I wanted to thank you for asking me those uh, very fundamental questions. And I hope it was helpful to the people that are listening and um, and I, I wished them to really give themselves at least you know um, the chance to to not waste their lives and their energy to things that actually don't matter you know we we put so much emphasis on recognition on status and and you know external validation that's not the truth. I mean, the truth is, is that really when you reconnect to yourself, you are the most hap happiest version of yourself. And then mm -hmm. things start moving and being abandoned. And, and yeah, you, you meet the right people. And like, like we did, like, you know, uh, because we are into this, uh, we are having this fulfilling life we meet the right people and we connect with the right people that are on the same path. That's what happened to us, right? So it's when you are starting to realign yourself to your true self, authentic self, your values, your strengths, your aspirations. And when you listen to your deep calling, deep purpose, then you start seeing allies everywhere. And, 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 and then you start living your life with, you know, on purpose. So, Beautiful is that. Thank you very much, Marie Louise. Thank, thank you. you. I acknowledge your strength, your courage coming live. Um, I you. enjoyed very much talking with you. I sensed your energy, and I feel you have gone a long path of discovering the lightness. You mm. you impressed me with your journey and the way that you said. Like shoots and have to it really showed me that you have let go and that you are living in a place of lightness and playfulness i can yeah. see it in your face and in your energy i can feel it thank you thank you Izil. thank you so much for inviting me and letting me you know express myself hopefully you know other people would would join this this party to you know this you know, alignment party and play for yeah. <laughs> Come join the party. Join it's the a, party. it's yeah. a great ending. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. 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 Th